In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Corel Draw's Draw and Shape tools to create and edit curve objects. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. So what is a curve object exactly? A curve is a vector object made up of segments, nodes, and control handles, which you can use to precisely alter the object's shape. A curve can be any shape, including a straight or curved line segment. Curve objects in Corel Draw are defined by a path, which can be open, like a line segment, or closed, like a circle. So let's take a look at the different curve tools that can be found under the Curve Tools flyout menu in the toolbar. We'll first use the freehand tool, which can be used in a few different ways. It allows you to easily draw a straight line segment by clicking once to set a starting point and clicking again to set an endpoint. Double click instead to add another segment without ending the curve. You can also click and drag to draw a curved segment. Now let's switch to the polyline tool, which works similarly, but is better for complex curves because it will continue to add segments with just a single click. Double click or reconnect to your starting point to complete your curve. Both the freehand tool and the polyline tool include a spin box that allows you to adjust the amount which Corel Draw will smooth your drawing. Next, we'll open up the two-point line tool. Click and drag with the two-point line tool, then let go to create a straight line segment. If you hold shift as you draw, your segment will snap to 15 degree intervals. Next are the Bezier and Pen tools. Each of these tools continuously add segments to curves with a single click, allowing you to adjust the shape of each curved segment as you draw. The Pen tool gives you the added ability to preview your line segments while you draw. Double click or reconnect to your starting point to complete your curve. Next is the B-Spline tool, which allows you to draw curved lines by setting control points that shape the curve without breaking it into segments. It's a little different from our other curve tools because it creates nodes that are removed from the curve itself. Last is the three-point curve tool. Use the three-point tool to quickly create arc-shaped curves without setting nodes. Click two separate points on your page to set the arc's width, and click again to set the arc's height. Now let's talk about nodes. Nodes are the points that connect the segments of a curve object. Select the Shape tool to alter your curves by manipulating node handles. There are three main types of nodes in Corel Draw. Cusp, Smooth, and Symmetrical. If you go to the Corel Draw 2019 menu, Preferences, Corel Draw, and choose Nodes and Handles, you have the option to customize the appearance of your nodes. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll change node size to large for easier visibility as we learn to work with them. So we'll first look at cusp nodes. Cusp nodes allow you to create sharp transitions between segments in a curve object. You can control the handles on either side of the node independently of one another, allowing you to create sharp angles. To change a node type, just right-click directly on the node. We'll change this to a smooth node. Smooth nodes create smooth transitions between the segments that they connect. These handles are fixed directly opposite one another, but you can drag them to different distances from the node to adjust the curve. To add an additional node to an existing curve, just double-click directly on the curve, and we'll make this one a symmetrical node. Symmetrical nodes are similar to smooth nodes, but their handles will always stay equidistant from the node, ensuring that the segment on either side of the node keeps an identical curved transition. The last type of node to know about are line nodes. These appear at the beginning and end of a curved path and look like little arrows. They can also be used to adjust the shape of your curves. So now that we understand our curve tools, nodes, and node handles, we'll look at how to convert objects to curves. Most objects created within or added to a document in Corel Draw are not curves, with the exception of spirals, freehand lines, and bezier lines. If you need to customize the shape of a line, or a simple object like a rectangle, you can easily convert it to a curve by right-clicking on it and choosing Convert to Curve. For more complex objects, you can use your curve tools to trace existing shapes. Tracing shapes is a great way to practice using your curve tools. To start, we'll place a new object into our document. So here we have this asteroid, but maybe we want the flexibility to alter its shape a little bit, so we can convert it into a curve object by tracing each of its elements. To start, we'll trace the full outline. So we'll select the freehand or polyline tool, and then we'll create nodes at key points around the outline of the object. 
Then with the shape tool selected, we'll lasso all the nodes we just created, right click and choose convert to curve. And now when we click on those nodes, we can manipulate the handles to adjust the segments until our curve matches the outline. When we're done, we now have a curve object in the shape of the asteroid that we can easily customize. And of course we can go back into the asteroid and trace over all of its individual elements as well. You can use this method along with the other curve tools to recreate just about any piece of artwork you want. Keep practicing by tracing more and more complex objects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with.